Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today's video is going to show you how to install a battery in a Dell Latitude 7370 laptop. It's a Latitude 7370. And our process is going to install this battery. It's a model XCNR3, 34 watt hour. We bought this on eBay for $27. I've noticed on eBay, you might want to be cautious, make sure you get an XCNR3. There are sellers out there advertising batteries for this model that's not the right battery. So make sure you get one and you see the little connector, and we're going to talk about that in a minute, that connects it to the motherboard with a white connector on the end. The only tools you're going to need are a Phillips screwdriver and a pry tool. You could use a flathead screwdriver. You'll see in a minute why we need said that. Okay, the Dell 7370. Nice small 13-inch laptop. Lithium-ion battery. We're going to go through the process now on how you change that battery and put a new model XCNR3 battery in there. So you turn it upside down. And this isn't rocket science. All you got to do is take the bottom off. And there are a number of screws around the perimeter. Using your Phillips screwdriver, undo those screws to access the battery panel. Um, again, I purchased these batteries typically on eBay. This one was $27, model XCNR3. And as I mentioned earlier, and I'm going to caution you again, make sure you're buying that model. There are people on eBay selling batteries for this model that are advertising them for this model, but they're the wrong batteries. Make sure you get an XCNR3. Okay, so the process here is to take the bottom plate off. We get those screws all loosened up. I keep track of these screws. We don't want to leave any inside when we're done does bad things to electronics to have screws rattling around in there. Okay, so now we're going to pry that bottom plate off. It's kind of held in with some plastic tabs. That's where this pry tool comes in. You can you can actually grab it with your fingers, um, but anything you can get is just snapped in there. There you go. It's off. Now, there's the battery exposed. You can see this battery is all bulged up. Lithium-ion batteries do that. There's the connector to the motherboard. First thing you got to do is take that little connector and often it's just slid in there. There's no fasteners or anything. You just pull it back and it'll come right out of the come right out of the socket. And that is the connector that's attached to the battery. Your new battery should have another one of these on it. So once we've got that electrically disconnected, now we're going to remove the screws that physically hold the battery into the laptop. This design has got some little arrows that point right to where the screws are. You can see that arrow right there. Points right to the where the screw is and then you um, know which ones that you're supposed to take off. There's a several of them around the perimeter here. So the process is to take this battery screws and get this bad one out of there so that we can put a new one in. Again, you can notice this battery is bulged. It's got, in the center panels there, it's all bulged up. Hopefully they solve that problem before we're all driving lithium-ion batteries in cars around the place. I've seen these push so bad that they bulge up, they push the plastic, and you actually can crack the plastic. Okay, so we're going to get this out. Now, after we got all the screws off, it should just pull right out. And make sure you get all the screws. We don't want to leave a little wanderer inside the assembly. I'm actually going to probably should turn this upside down and shake it because I don't think I got them all. Yep, I missed a couple. There you go. Okay, now we take the new battery. You'll notice it's nice and flat, not bulged. Brand new battery purchased off of eBay. And we're going to assemble it, and the first thing you do is slide that electrical connector into the motherboard socket. And that's labeled on the motherboard, so you know which socket it is to put the battery into. And it just pushes in. Just slide, if you get it in the right position, it just slides in. There you go. See, it's just slid in. Now we're going to physically screw the battery down to the assembly. 
get it in position and then we're going to grab these little screws and again the arrows there show you exactly where these suckers go there's the first one you know exactly where to put them and we're going to go around the uh, perimeter and make sure that we have put them all in now sometimes I'll stop at this point and power the system up just to make sure that the battery is good and I made a good connection that could save you from having to take the assembly completely apart if you did have a problem for demonstration purposes I'm going to continue to finish the assembly of all the screws uh, but just to note that uh, you could stop at this point and flip it upside down, carefully turn it on, and if everything powers on, you know that you've got a good battery and that you've got that connector seated into the motherboard properly. This is a really nice design on this one. Pretty hard to mess it up. Okay, and again, we go around and get all those screws. Some engineer had that went, hey, Went wild designing the screws on this. Probably got twice as many as it really needs, but hey, it's in there securely. Okay, and then once you've got that done, you can just put the back cover back on and it just snaps in place. And you, if you get it in the right position, it'll just push right down and snap in place. Now the process is to reattach the screws. I usually start with the middle if I can get it. That way the whole thing is held in position while you get the others and now we go around the perimeter and f get the other fasteners there's a little gap there i'm going to push down it just snap in place there you go the little plastic tabs are holding that in place and then the screws mechanically fasten it so the process there is to go around the base and put them all in not rocket science so all you've done is taken off the bottom cover, unassembled the old battery, reassembled a new battery in its same position, and then put the cover back on. It's that simple. Hopefully everything, I got something under there. There, yeah, just rocking a little bit. Okay, um, again, hopefully this will go as smooth for you as it just did for our demonstration. And that should do it. Good luck with your assembly. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like our channel, hit the like button. Also, you can subscribe to us. We do put out tips and tricks for our customers on things you need to know about different lap laptop models. Um, so we'd certainly like to have you as a subscriber. And that's it. We've finished her up. And today's project is done. Thank you for watching. Again, I hope you'll subscribe to our channel. Hey, good luck in your project. Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Over and out.